Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this custom 2x6 uh, wedding banner. Uh, so we're going to be using pro features inside of Canva and this is a bit of an update from the last 2x6 banner tutorial that I did um, in the sense that I'm going to show you a few new features that may help you when you're doing this design. So if you like this and you want to see how I made it, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is select custom size and change your units to inches. And this is going to be a two by six foot banner. So your width in inches will be 24 and the height will be 72. All right, so for this next section, this is going to be a voiceover. I don't have the original footage, but I will highlight what's going on in the video. So I'm using an AI image here. Um, so you'll want to make sure that whatever photo you use, that it is very crisp and clear. Uh, for this, I like to use the photo to get a good idea of the background color. So I'm going up to background, pick a color and I'm going to choose something from the photo um, that I like. So for this one I kind of like the um, blue color that's in the tie so I'm using that as my background color. So once you've gotten the color the next thing is to uh, remove the background. So you'll go up to background remover and just make sure that you have your image the way you want it and then I'm resizing it. Okay so one important step is to make sure that you have your guidelines um, so that when you get ready to print it that the image isn't cut off and that the text isn't cut off so I'm putting in some guidelines on the top as well as on the side. Usually um, I'll choose like a half an inch to an inch. Alright, so once you've resized the image, this next step is very important. Um, it's a new feature that I mentioned that I would show on this tutorial and that is how to get rid of that line um, on the image. So before I used a white blur to kind of blur out the line but this time I'm going to show you a feature inside of Canva. Uh, if you go over to the side under apps um, you'll notice that they have image blender. So once you select that there's this uh, linear uh, option that's over to the far left and if you click on that it's going to bring up this line on your picture. Um, so that's what you'll see in the center. And if you take that and on the bottom part, you can drag it down and you'll see more of the image and you won't see that harsh line. So I'm just right now, you'll see on the video that I'm just moving that line uh, further down the page so I can see more uh, of the photo. Alright, so now that I have everything uh, laid out the way that I want as far as the photo, I want to go ahead and put in a transparent background on top of this blue. So what I'm going to do is go over to Elements and you can type in Gradient that fades to transparency and I always like using this uh, purple one here because I'm, I'm able to kind of manipulate the colors. Again, this is a pro feature. You can select free up here at the top and then you can see what other options it gives you but um, I'm going to choose that one. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to select this purple and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color to match the blue in the background. So now you see I went from purple to blue and then I can kind of go and resize it and then I'm going to go into my layers and I'm going to move that transparency below 
the photo. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add one more. Going to duplicate it, move it there. And then on this one, I'm going to change the position. So I'm going to move that around so that the transparency is on the top on this one. And you'll see that it's darker up here at the top. That's the one that's first. And then the second one, the transparency is towards the bottom. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put in a white blur at the bottom before I start putting on the text. But before I do that, I'm going to change the background color just a little bit. Um, that blue is a little bit too dark for me, so I'm going to go in back in the layers and I'm going to change that to a lighter blue. There we go. I think that looks looks a little bit better. Okay, so now we're going to move on and under elements, you're going to type in white blur. And we're going to see what options we have. I'm going to choose this one here, which is just like a rectangle. And then I'm going to grab this wheel over to the side and I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to expand. Now this I'm going to take all the way down to the bottom of the frame because I want it to be completely white towards the bottom instead of the blue. Okay, so now you'll notice how we have this line right here um, once we added the white blur. So don't worry, we're going to get rid of that. So one way to get rid of it is go back into your layers. And then you want to make sure that your blur is in the right position, which it is. It's above the photo. So now you just want to expand that transparency. until it fades. Now you'll notice once we move that up, you don't see that line between the, the photo and the, the white blur anymore. All right. So now we're going to move on and we're going to put in the text. To add the text, this is really simple. You can go over to where it says uh, add a text box. But instead of adding a box, you can go and type in the search wedding fonts. And this will give you uh, some ideas if you go further down of different fonts that you can combine together instead of trying to figure out which one you want to combine. Okay, so I went with this font that you see right here. Um, there are plenty of others that you can choose from, but this just was the first one I grabbed. So once you put that in there, you're going to expand. And then you're going to hit ungroup and you're going to change the text. Okay, so now I've added the text to the banner and this is pretty much done. Now, of course, uh, there are plenty of other um, elements that you can add to the design. So, for example, if you wanted to uh, change it to where the image was on the side like I have in this photo, then you can just go into frame and then you can put that there and, and change it. And if you decide that you want to change the background color, you will just click on the image 
and then like we did before instead of choosing that blue you could do this nice uh, kind of a gray stone color I guess um, so and then if you wanted to add flowers uh, you would go up to elements and then you would just type in uh, some type of floral design like a floral border and then you can just decide you know if there's something that you like you can add it to the page um, so again there are lots of options lots of ways that you can design your banner so once you have finalized your design the next thing you'll want to do is go ahead and hit share and you're going to download it so when you download it it needs to be a PNG and I would go ahead and increase this um, the size here this is just going to make the image crisper so I will say one thing when you're designing your banners you want to make sure that you really have a clear photo and I'm going to show you what I mean however it looks when you're designing it inside a Canva that's how it's going to print so if your image looks grainy um, or pixelated uh, here when you're looking at it it's going to print that way so just make sure that you have a really nice clear image all right so again you're going to go down to share download PNG increase the size and you don't need a transparent background or anything like that you just want to select the photo and then hit download okay once your image has finished downloading uh, you want to go ahead and open it up and you always want to go here and just rotate it around so that it'll be ready when you go ahead and upload it onto your site okay so now I'm on Walgreens website and I'm gonna show you how to upload your banner so you're going to go to photo and then all photo products and then you want to go to banners and then you'll have the option of printing it out as just a satin banner or you can do adhesive if you're going to put it on a foam board or if you need something that's water resistant you can select the vinyl banner um, and then we we did a 2x6 so you'll just select 2x6 create banner and then you're going to hit upload photo okay so it has uploaded our photo we're going to hit done and it fits inside of the frame perfectly so now you will select it you're going to review it make sure that everything um, fits inside the frame that you don't have anything that's being cut off on the sides that you can read all the text and again that it looks the way that you want it okay now after you've reviewed your order you're going to go to checkout and we want the 2x6 continue okay so now that we're in the cart we're going to enter in a coupon code right now that is 50% off there you go so use this code through the 14th um, and then you'll be able to get this for half off so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if so please be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment if there's anything else that you'd like to see Alright, until the next video.